My name is Jack Cancy. I work for the U Mountain U Wildlife Department. And I White Mesa Bear Dance Chief. Oh, bear dance is coming in. This time I thought about it and I said, I want this to be one of my best ones because my journey as a law enforcement officer can come to an end and I'm ready to move on. <laughs> This dance has been here for many, many years, you know. It happens here in this community once a year, and that's the fall time. That bear wakes up, uh, the spring thunder wakes him up, and he'll be looking for something to eat, and they say he travels, you know, he travels to community to community. They'll have a bear dance for him. Then. This is one of the oldest dances in the United States. It's been here with the Ute people for generations and generations. It's not written down, it's, it's all handed down verbally. This is the last one every year. We end up putting the bear back to sleep. <laughs> We've got ancestors that, that used to dance in here. They used to do this bear dance over here. We pray, they, we pray for them, you know, that they watch over us, that they take care of us, you know, they guide us. And they do all these things for us, you know. We can't do it ourselves. And if you see it, sometimes, you know, the bear, he, he stands like this, and if you see them, some of those dancers, they're like that too. They, their hands are like this when they're, when they're going back and forth doing the line dance. We also allow non-tribal members to come here and dance. You know, like, we don't care what, they, what color you are, you're, you're welcome to dance in here and participate as long as you adhere to the rules. The female's the one that does the choosing. She'll choose who she wants to dance. She has to understand that she can't dance with anybody that's related to her. The guidance of the song is learning who you are. A woman needs to learn who she is by herself, take care of herself, have respect for all of the men. The men are the wisdom that help out a lot and support the women. And they're right now they're sharing their wisdom of their songs and their energy to help the women keep going and going. It's a ceremony of love. There's, there's four of us in our band. We represent each family that's out there, different family that's out there. However, we invite other groups to this ceremony over here. The youth language that they sing, they sing about the animals, the female bear. It was all about nature, how to take care of it, how to um, survive. And so with those teachings and stuff, you know, we as, as Indian people, we survive. You know, we survive, and it's still here. You know, that's what this, this place is about, is living, is life. Yeah.